the last episode ended by telling you that Lady Lieselot was healing over quite heavy. There are two things that I want to share with you before I start sharing the footage with you. One is an accident that happened at the Atlantic Ocean. Martin from Yambo, sailing yacht Yambo, he had to go into his life raft and his sailboat sank into the Atlantic Ocean. And uh, he had to wait, I believe, 24 hours in his life raft before an ocean cruiser came by and picked him up. They dropped him nine days later or so in South Africa. And as far as I know, he is safe with his family now. If you hear a story like that, then all of a sudden other things in your life are not that bad anymore. Yeah, I must be honest about that then. And the other thing that I want to mention is one of my followers, Tim Bull, became a good uh, pen friend. He is a liveaboard together with his wife, Karina, on board of a motor vessel, Matilda. And he wrote a book. So may I pitch this book to you called Footloose? And I read it and it is very funny to read. And I would almost say it is the book that I wanted to write. So, thank you very much, Tim. Anyhow, go. Uh, I will uh, add a link in the video description below. For now, how about fixing engines? Let's go then. There's something uh, I must tell you. Really. Hmm. Um, because with the engine out of the engine bay, there are spots that normally are difficult to reach but now I can reach them with ease. I cleaned everything and uh, the other day I found some traces of diesel. There's another boat job because over here you see the coverage of the bulk diesel tank from approximately um, uh, here until much much lower. There. So, hmm, the starboard bulk tank was holding 625 liters. I had to pump up that towards the port bulk tank, which was holding 400 liters. And to do so, I used the 400 liter day tank as liaison. The starboard engine weighs 635 kilos and has already left the boat. And with all the fuel into one tank, Lady Lieselot became the talk of town. Owners of sailboats are used to a healed living space, but um, walking, sitting and sleeping under healing was quite a challenge. A welder was arranged and he told me to remove the coverage and look what I found! With the cover removed, I was able to look inside. I sat on the, the pin of the engine. <laughs> that is a quite a stimulation. <laughs> The welder gave me the advice to drop cat litter into the tank to suck up every drop of fuel and that worked well. I also had to remove this wood. The tank itself is resting on three wooden feet. Coffee time! Well, actually it is not coffee time at the moment. It is not 10 o'clock, but 11.30. But, nevertheless, it's time for coffee. <sighs> yeah, all of a sudden I thought, well, normally when I have a video where I drive Lady Lieselot from one place to another, then uh, we always have coffee together, but because of this boat job thing, all of a sudden 
the coffee time moment between you and me all of a sudden disappears. So that is silly. And um, I think it was uh, two, three videos ago that I told you that the Reuzemergpijp this cookie was not available anymore in the grocery. It is again. Uh, and that was so sweet. Uh, Charlotte, uh, uh, one of my followers who, who lives nearby, she saw that uh, remark and I, I, I told her about the fact that the cookies were not available anymore and she bought very special ones at the bakery uh, and she came to deliver. This is especially for you, she said. So uh, Charlotte, thank you very much. <laughs> that was very, very kind of her, don't you agree? So as always, I would suggest that you pause the video, grab something to drink, whatever the moment of the day it is and you want to drink now, and we have this drink together. How about that? Come on, pause. And here we go again. Two, maximum three cups of coffee per day. And in the groceries you always have, I use the cups from Nespresso, beep, and um, I always have the, the heaviest, number 12, and then I have this, this much uh, uh, coffee in it and then a little bit milk. So the Die Hard drinks the number 12 coffee black and I uh, drink it with some sugar and milk. The welder started with some grinding and did his job telling me after 20 minutes he had found the leak and was ready. We will close the hatch and then I will uh, put some air pressure on it. This is the air bleed of the tank, then we have the connector and of course I had to close it and I uh, worked that out this way. Power on. I will use um, this gouge. And, uh, I need a little, 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 little bit of air pressure. And that is the reason why we have connected that turbo air pressure gouge on the other side. Okay, I know for sure that there is air pressure in the tank, but unfortunately this gouge doesn't tell me anything and the other one um, neither. Once again. So there's enough. Uh, that one is closed. Okay, here we go. This gouge does not move. Okay, let's have a look over here. This one does not move. Yeah, and I will be honest that it took a while before it dawned to me that if the couches do not show pressure there might be a leak and there it was i found a leak three centimeters from the edge and you could hear it tss, tss, tss. so yeah i called the welder and he said well from what i have seen the tank is bad so you need new tanks that was bad news so the next day I went to see the guys of the shop again and then I said to them the welder says that the tank is bad and he must build a new one. Hmm. Will you please come and have a look yourself? So two hours later they stepped on board, they had a look and they said this tank is very 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 nice. You can use it many years from now. Yes it has a leak but we will fix that one. 
So, the tank story continues. And how it continues, that I will show in the next episode for sure. For now, thank you very much for watching. And if you have not yet already, please subscribe to the channel. And by the way, thank you very much for all the donations I received via the thank you button on YouTube and via the GoFundMe page. And still people watch the one hour video on Vimeo to see what happened at sea on the Oosterschelde with the engines and how I brought Lady Lieselot into this harbor without having any engines. Yeah, now they know. Anyhow, uh, do I see you in the next episode? All right then, bye bye.